Well, good evening, everybody. How are we doing? It's so good to see you. I'm really looking forward to this. I've got some lemonade and I've got some tea. I didn't make coffee. I'm not super tired, so I thought, why drink it if I don't need it? But this is still a little too hot. How is everybody doing? I'm going to start saying hello. Don't forget to like the stream before we get started so that way more people can witness the glory of the 100 baby challenge. My goodness. Joe and Ariana say hi everyone. Hope everyone is having a good day. So excited for the stream. Thank you. Me too. I'm really looking forward to it. Kyra says that she hopes that you're having a good day as well. That's good. Jonathan says hi. Hi, how are you? Patrice is here. Good to see you. I haven't seen you for a little bit. Maybe you were in the last one. Sometimes I miss I miss the chats. Either I'm reading like all of the chats or I'm le or I'm reading like one and then getting distracted and then missing the rest. I love the click to argue tagline on the title. Well, thank you. Yeah, I figured why not, right? We can have a little fun. Free entertainment if someone does come in to argue, right? I'm like, honestly though, like if you if you have real information on why The Sims 3 is, sorry, why why The Sims 4 is better than The Sims 3, then just let, let me know because I don't know any reasons. Star Stuff says, hi everyone, whose titles are the best. I literally think of them like 10 minutes before I'm live. Like I get home from work and I have about a half hour to like make the thumbnail, make the title, set up the stream, make sure I don't look ugly. And then like sometimes I'm like rushing to get things done as you guys are seeing the stream is starting soon. I just keep the microphone on mute. Sometimes I stub my toes, sometimes I scream, sometimes I'm like stirring the ice next to the microphone. <laughs> so like never know what I'm doing. Kyle is yelling. You can see him in the corner. He's like jumping at the wall. I don't know what he's doing. He was just looking out the window, having a good time. And now he's screaming, running back and forth. So we'll see if he comes over. Kyle, Piggy, he's gonna come. I can hear something. He's doing something, I don't know. And maybe he's trying to get into a cupboard. Chris says, hi everyone, I missed you guys. Well, it's good to see you. I hope we can help you feel a little bit better today. Aesthetics is here, good to see you. Candy Queen is here, hello to you as well. Hello, Sophie. Hi, Cats and Witchcraft, good to see you. Oh God, not the toe stubbing, don't get me started. Cause like this, this desk that I'm using, I just got it off Amazon when I moved. I needed something quick, but I'm still using it, but like, the legs, they slant out, so like they're kind of hidden except where your foot is, so it's no fun. Did you get new couch pillows? I got two new couch cushions. The pink pillow is kind of like Kyle's bed, so I just move that to wherever I want him to be. So he either sleeps on that or on this like small blanket I have. So the pillow's out here and the blanket is in my bedroom, so regardless of what he wants to do, but what he really wants to do now is make noises, so I don't know what he's doing. Come on. Piggy, what are you doing? When he does, when he's quiet like that after I say his name, it's usually because he's doing something he shouldn't. Love the colors. Thank you. Yeah, I like, see, I just, I keep the big blanket on it. I don't like the big blanket, like how it looks with the rest of the stuff, but I take it off when people come over. So it just keeps the couch from getting Kyle's fur all over it. So then I just have a furry blanket I can throw in the washing machine. But I hope everyone had a good weekend and I hope everyone is g getting ready for the next weekend because that'll be a long weekend. I've been like looking forward to this Easter weekend in my brain for like well over a month. So I'm looking forward to having four days in a row where I don't have to do a thing. Oh, I just heard Kyle again. Okay, let's see if I can get everything sit situated so i know the ea app was having problems earlier today i saw in several discords people were unable to connect unable to open their games i got the sims 3 to open most of the errors i saw were about the sims 4 but it could have affected the sims 3 as well so let me know if you noticed anything or if you were asleep or at work and missed it then don't worry about it Okay, let's see if we can do this. 
Oh my goodness. There we go. Okay, so it's still loading. I got it done before the loading screen was over, so that's good. I don't get the long weekend luxury. Gotta study. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. My goodness. I, like, I was, like, an overachiever from, like, kindergarten till all the way through university. So, like, I understand putting in long study hours. That was very much my jam. Okay, everything opened. It seems to be working. I was like, who the hell is that? But it's Bills. Oh, God. Okay, we got to pause this. Okay, Kyle might be coming to say hello. Come on. I can hear him. Come on, he's coming. Come on up. Here, go on this. You like this. Come on up. Oh, and I also have two Amazon boxes. Why don't we do that as like a little bit of like, cause like I never do like Amazon hauls cause I get very few things off Amazon, but I needed two controllers very quickly cause I want to play a game with my friend this weekend and I need two controllers to play multiplayer on the PC. We're actually going to play Baldur's Gate 3. So apparently you can do split screen with a PC as long as you have two controllers. So I got two decently priced controllers off of Amazon. Kyle, come on. Come on. Come on. You're not escaping. Ugh. How old is Kyle? He's gorgeous. Kyle is, I think five or six. Six. He's gonna say something. There we go. We said something. Okay, just lie down then. Okay, he's gonna lie down crooked, but he's gonna stop at least. So fluffy, I agree. Okay, I'm just gonna have to slightly move myself and the microphone. That way we can do this. I wanna meow back at Kyle so bad. There we go. He meowed again, but he's not close to the microphone, so he probably can't hear it. Okay, and we're going to get a tail in our face every so often, too. Okay, excellent. So let's just do a recap, because we haven't done, like, a fam... We didn't even look at the family tree last time, so I'm thinking... Now he's rubbing his face on the microphone stand. I'm sure that's, that's nice for everyone to listen to. My goodness. Maybe if I just scratch him, he'll go to sleep. So we didn't even look at the family tree last, last time. Oh, this is the wrong save file. This is... Because we had two more babies, did we not? One second, I'm just gonna go to the main menu. Let's see, what did I do? Let me just go into my recycle bin in case I deleted the wrong one. <laughs> Hi, Athena. Howdy. How do I show my desktop with the game open? I don't usually have technical difficulties like this. Here, I'm, I know another way I can go to my recycle bin. Shouldn't we have the babies? Because in this, in this thumbnail, we have all of the, maybe I opened the wrong, the wrong one. Maybe I had it sl uh, slid over. So I'm going to try this one because this is, yeah, because this one has the babies. This one has the makeovers. This is definitely after we played. Yeah, there were twins. Okay, thank you. I thought I was, I, I thought I remembered correctly. Rec, I don't think you have enough save files. Okay, so like I clear out my save files quite a bit, but like I save as every couple of 
you know, usually twice or three times a stream, just because like, you know, like you error code, like you get crashes or like you put the wrong, I wrong clothing item on your SIM and then your game can't function. So I always like to have a recent, <laughs> a recent backup. I'm debating on whether I should bite the pain and venture into my kitchen to eat some Cheez-Its. I love Cheez-Its. I love like any artificial cheese cracker. <laughs> All of them. Try a town reset too because they might be missing. I'll try a town reset too. The amount of save file clutter on that scroll menu would, would overstimulate me. I'm usually more like more anal about things like that. I didn't want to say that word, but I can't think of a different word. So, okay, so I think we're under control. I see two more squares. The portraits haven't loaded, but I did clear out the cache and I did kind of like clean out the save files. So let's just see what happens. All of them are here, it looks like, even if they're, yeah, so everything's loading slowly. So since I cleared out the cache, the save file has to make all the thumbnails and stuff. So I'm just gonna give it a second. Just recently, I was trying to play The Sims 3 because I had a really good idea for a sim I wanted to play once I was into renovating the house she was going to live in. My game was running so slow. So popping in and out of creative style is not good for The Sims 3 running. But I do suggest if you have like a computer that can run other games decently well, but you're having problems with The Sims 3, then you can look up and like there's there's a bunch of little things you can do to The Sims 3. My game runs like butter and I don't have like a super powerful gaming PC. I have like a couple hundred dollar graphics card, a couple hundred dollar motherboard. Like my whole PC is probably under a thousand dollars, but I installed this smooth patch. I use the error trap and the overwatch mods. I clean my save files. I clean my cache folders. Like I do all the stuff you need to make the game run better. And I don't know which thing is the magic trick, but you can get it running. Like mine is, you know, like it's 60 FPS. Oh, cap it at 60 FPS, by the way. But yeah, there's lots of little things you can do. So actually I have a videos about it. Um, a Cotton Zog has videos about it. And like, honestly, just YouTube search bar is your friend. So I just booted up The Sims 1 instead. I love The Sims 1. The Sims 1 is like an, an, an absolute bop. So I was thinking before the Easter weekend, remember the week I took off the 100 baby challenge and we played The Sims 2 and we played Baldur's Gate and I mentioned that maybe we could play The Sims 1. So I'm thinking next week, one of the days we'll play that like we'll have a Sims 1 day. We'll just open The Sims 1. We'll do some fun stuff. Cause we all know it's chaos. Like the, the newer The Sims game, the more you have to invent the chaos. Like in The Sims 4, it's like you have to like make it up in your imagination. But in The Sims 1, like if you go to the bathroom and leave it on speed one, you will come back to dead Sims. Like it is no joke. It's hard and you run out of money. Um, you can't get like you can't get your sim with high enough needs to get a promotion because they can't afford anything. And then they can't afford anything because they can't get the promotion. Like it's a whole thing. Dude, when I play The Sims 1, I feel so lost, like I don't know what to do. I recommend not only my Sims 1 documentary, but I do recommend the player's guide because that gives like, it's a very technical game. And if you're, cause like The Sims 4 and The Sims 3, especially, you can just bounce around and play however you'd like. But like The Sims 1, like you have to be paying attention. You have to, like everything has to have a purpose and a reason. Like if you fully optimize a Sims 1 base game LP, you'll be performing at about a 5 out of 10 in life. Just fight to keep them alive in The Sims 1. It's chaotic and hard. It's impossible to make friends. The best way to play The Sims 1 is to make two Sims for a household. Two adults, no children. One Sim works and the other Sim doesn't and just makes friends. Like that's the only way to do it. And even if you do it that way, you might not have the needs high enough to get the promotions anyway. And then they lose their friends. So it's like, yeah. Right now, we're the um, princess Tony is asking what world we're in. We are still in Barnacle Bay. So this is our second world that we've been in. 
Let's look at the beautiful night sky. And we've explored it a little bit. We haven't explored it too, too much. We kind of go to the same places, but I like that we did Sunlit Tides and I like that we're doing Barnacle Bay because those are worlds that I would never pick and we just got them randomly. So I like, mm -hmm. I like exploring something a little bit new. Even if I've been through all these builds and everything too before, it's like playing in a world and looking at the houses are not the same thing. And some worlds I end up liking a lot more than I thought and some worlds I thought I liked and then I don't like them after I've played them. I'm like, you know what? This is a mess. Dude, it runs so well on my old ass computer. Like if I'm feeling impatient with The Sims 3 and just want to play a game quickly, I just go into The Sims 1. Yeah, like The Sims 1 will load quickly. You can go to all these different lots. It'll just like, you know, you don't have to worry about any of the problems. I don't usually get crashes with The Sims 1 either. Okay, let's, what are we doing? Go away! I did... I'm gonna ask him to leave. Cemetery is, of course, automatically taking care of all the babies. I love some of the builds in The Sims 3 because sometimes they have little details that relate to the families. Like, when I was doing the build review series, I noticed so many little things like that that I never noticed before, and, like, they... And, like it just warmed my heart. And then also a lot of things I didn't see and I didn't learn until people were commenting there. Like they will comment like, this is referencing this, this is referencing this, these Sims reference this. And I'm like, oh my God, like this is crazy. Like the amount of detail and little tidbits of information, like this Sims 4, like I know we say it a lot, but the Sims 4 could never, can you imagine? They, they made a Sim with a backstory in the latest expansion pack and the whole community went wet for it. There's lore in The Sims 4 now. Like, is there really? It's in your head. Because the thing is, The Sims 4 has, like, if it has lore, it has to, like, show you that there, like, it has, like, it has to announce it. Whereas in the other Sims games, it's all, it's, it's all sprinkles of things that you have to be clever or understand the reference to. Okay, we have birthdays. Okay, great. Oh, they're toddlers aging up into children. That's perfect. And the babies age up in two, oh, in one day, so tomorrow. So yeah, we can get pregnant again. We age up in a day too. I mean, The Sims 1 isn't that big and highly optimized. Like, back when games... Okay, because, like, computer games in the late 90s and early 2000s, like, you didn't have a lot of RAM, you didn't have a lot of graphics memory. So, making a game, optimizing it was of utmost importance, right? Like, if it's like, you had to make sure that your game would, like, load and run on the average computer back in the day, right? So, like, they made sure everything was as good as it could be. You also couldn't update the game, right? Like, once the game was in the store, like, there were no patches. People didn't have internet. Like, some people did, but, like, when The Sims 1 came out, like, the year 2000, I would say some, like, I would say the richer kids in my class all had internet, and the poorer half were years from internet, still. And if you got a bugged copy, rip, honestly. Look at Cemetery just doing her thing. Okay, we need the needs panel. Amber Lynn needs to get up and go shower. We're gonna do that. Actually, she can take a bath and I'm gonna have, I'm gonna get some cakes out. Oh wow, they're, they're eating food that isn't cake for once. I've never seen that in this challenge yet. Okay, so we need three cakes, I think. These are triplets. We have some twins and some triplets this this gen. So we'll just buy three. Yeah, it's three. So Cemetery is going to the bathroom. Just see, like, I can't believe the game can run, like, the autonomy of, like, this many Sims in a household. And the other thing is that, like, the Sims 3 runs the whole town at the same time. So I guess it makes sense that like, what's the difference if, if you have one Sim or 20 of them in your house when the world has like 90 Sims? I don't know how many Sims are are in this world, but usually Sims 3 worlds have about 
90 lots, like nine zero. Every time I play The Sims 1, I'm kind of a lazy gamer and play and play one sim with with lots of cheats. I okay, so like the first time I really started cheating in The Sims 1 was when Live in Large came out and I wanted to make a mansion, but I was like 11 or 12 when Live in Large came out and I got it like when it came out. Like the second it was like people nowadays wait for a Sims 4 expansion pack. I did that in the year 2000 and 2001 and 2002. Like Sims 1 expansion packs, I was at Electronic Boutique ready to go like on the day. You need to take me to the video game store. Like, honestly, I was not waiting and I would cheat and I would make a mansion. But in my here, I'm just going to do it. So I'm going to go into build mode. So imagine this in The Sims 1. So I'd be like, OK, I need a kitchen. Rich people have big rooms. So I'm like, OK, yeah, 10 by 10 kitchen. Perfect. And in fact, EA does this sometimes. And like I would do like. This. <laughs> And then I'd have like, this is so not optimized too. <coughs> Excuse me. So I would put like the fridge there and I'd put, where is it? Like a stove over here. And like one of these would be a dishwasher. And then I'd put like a disco floor in the middle of the kitchen and like cages for like strippers to dance in. And I'd push in that cake that the stripper would come out of. Like, I'm like that, that'd be my kitchen. It would be half kitchen, half disco. And like, you know, I like the windowing in The Sims 1, the bigger the room, the more windows it needs for light to come in. So like, I'd be doing like this. Like just nonstop all the way. And then of course, next would be the living room, which is this big, right? And then like I would do, oh my goodness. I would do, oh my God, I can't even think about it. I'd put the bubble couch, but it's like not super big. So like I'd put like bubble couches in the middle. I would do all that random big stuff that you can't fit in normal houses, like the pool table. And like, that was my idea of a mansion. Not realizing that like, real rich people like would have a smaller kitchen because they're not in the kitchen. The servant is in the kitchen. Like, so like, anyway, let's not get into it. Like the butler, right? Okay. Everyone is thinking about the crying baby. I'm going to try and have birthdays and we're going to open the gifts. We're going to have Baldur's birthday first. Oh God, this sink is broken. I would have made a huge U shape and put a fountain in the middle. Loonscam says, what did I miss? Nothing. I've just been rambling about things. We're about to have birthdays for the toddlers. So the triplet toddlers. So Balder is going to go first. As we can see, Cemetery is doing all the work. Oh, her back hurts. I wonder why. Amberlynn is just like hanging out. Okay, you need to leave. Where is it? Ask to leave. I don't know why he's still here. I like his pajamas. I really think that the legacy of The Sims isn't going to be life simulation. It's going to be game breaking bugs and scams. Certainly the future of The Sims. You think Sims 4 documentary videos are bad? Like wait till The Sims 5. Like it's going to be awful. Why are you not leaving? Now they're flirting again. Leave. Okay, Balder grew up. Perfect. Unroutable sim found. Perfect. He's gone. Okay. Balder. Oh, no. You look like cemetery. And that's neither here nor there. You know, it could be worse. We have had worse. Who am I kidding? Okay. Let's do another one. Let's do foosball. And then we'll do fried rice for last. 
Why is she going on the computer? Cemetery's doing all the work. I believe so. Yeah, so this one is locked. Is this baby hungry? No, this baby's hungry. Oh no, it's just lonely. That's fine. Okay, Cemetery's gotta go to bed after this. Okay, fried rice. Let's go. Let's see. I'm gonna try and get them in the shot. Oh no, look at that bottom lip. Due to his modest early development, he's a virtuoso. Well, that's fine. We haven't gotten an evil kid for a bit. I want evil. I think Amber's room. Oh, the. Oh, right. I forgot. Because I locked them in there for the woohoo. I forgot about that. Thank you. God, now all the babies are screaming. Okay, Amber can take care of the babies. Come on, cemetery. You can do it. Just one more baby. Oh god, you don't even have pants on. Look at Bill's his hair. Okay, let's do it. Poor tragedy. We gave her that makeover. Thank goodness. <laughs> the red children, oh my god. Yeah, I don't know what happened with that. The Sims 5 will take all the tech advances of the last decade and waste it on a glitchy AI generated game that has a million microtransactions. Don't you forget it. I love how Cemetery is like going to bed while everyone is still celebrating. Due to his difficult upbringing, Fried Rice is a loser. Oh no. Well, at least he wasn't taken away. Okay, Amberlynn is not eating cake. That's for sure. How's this baby? Okay, this baby is hungrier, so go to this one. Cemetery can go to sleep. All oh, right, we dressed Chantal up like this. I forgot. <laughs> Yeah, um, they were sunburnt at birth, and they have remained sunburnt, so... Why are they still cheering? Amber Lynn, stop eating the cake. I told you to stop. Look how far out her, far out her arm has to be. Yeah, just put it there. Just leave it. Leave it by the front door. Why not? What is Cemetery doing? Cemetery needs to go to bed. Let's go to sleep. Oh no, now they're stuck at the door. Okay, good. Amber Lynn. This one's gonna go to the bathroom like any second. Okay, good. So, tragedy has stepped up to the plate a little bit. Yeah, put the kid back. You have to shower. It's Sunday. They have to get ready for school tomorrow. God, is there a bathroom open? There's no toilet in this one. I'm gonna add a toilet. This, this has been promoted to bathroom. I'm gonna get the toilet. It doesn't break. Where is it? There we go. There we go. I locked it for everyone but her. So she, oh my god, look Amber Lynn just going to the bathroom with with misfortune in the shower. Then you can go to bed, I guess. Okay, cemetery's asleep. What? 
Oh, is she pregnant? Did I get her pregnant already? She is pregnant. Oh, no. So we're already pregnant. I forgot. Oh, God. Okay, well, we're at 15 people in the household. We're going to make it probably 18 or 19. I'm going to save. I'm going to save. There we go. I wish one of the red ones was a girl to be the next heir. We need a girl. We have not had a girl in a while. We have not had a girl since Rugrat. Oh, right. Our first save is going to take extra time. Yes, you got her pregnant. Thank you. Now I remember because we because we locked the door. We got her pregnant and then we quit the game. And then now here we are back again. Raptor says, hello, how is everybody doing? Good, how are you doing? And Ross is struggling with her sliders. I don't think, do I have the advanced sliders? Maybe, if they come with an Enros mod, then I do. Maya says, hello, good luck with the 100 baby challenge. Thank you so much. We're doing it. Come on, fingers crossed. Sims 3, save. It always does this. When I clear the cache and clean the save file, the first save takes like a minute. And then after that, it's back to normal. Riveting content, I tell you. My goodness. Let's say something bitchy about The Sims 4 while we wait. <laughs> there we go. We did it. We got a save. Okay, so Amber Lynn, what are we doing? Honestly, I'm just going to focus on the gifts for now. Okay, well, you can feed a baby then. Oh, yeah, we have to take care of the one baby. So give it a bottle, change its diaper. Here, you can give him a bath. Is this Morg? That is Morg. Yeah, so we have Leprosy and Morg. And then we have Balder, Foosball, and Fried Rice. Yeah, like we have not had a, a daughter since Rugrat. We got like a bunch up here. But then we've had like five boys in a row. Hi, I've just started watching the series. What's Cemetery's story? So Cemetery was just our favorite um, sister, basically. So Amber Lynn is the heir to the 100 Baby Challenge, and Cemetery is her sister who was our favorite, and we just moved her in to help, and thank goodness we did. We, like, we don't really need her anymore because we have so many teenagers, but I'm still, I'm still gonna keep her because we love her. And she takes care of the babies the best. Like, everyone else is... See, look at Amber Lynn. She just put Morg on the floor. Put Morg in the crib. Earlier, you were talking about houses you would make as a kid in The Sims. I swear the architects in my city where I'm visiting are little kids going nuts with cheat codes. It's like Motherlode, Rosebud. Going crazy. If you're that, okay, do I have enough beds? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh no, 10, 11. Okay, so I need three more beds. Three, give me a second. Will this work? Is it him that's in the way, Jasper? Why is everyone in here? Okay. Jasper, go here. Are you ready to age up almost? Okay, so the teens are only here for five more days. Counting with counting with Rec, using that math degree for good. Okay. Remember when I said that I was glad that we built a giant house because we'll never run out of room? Well, here we are. In fact, wait a minute. We only have two babies. No, we're gonna need two nurseries. Should I just make one nursery with more stuff in it? 
I think that might be my best bet. I'm gonna move the potties to the bathrooms. If I can. No, I made the bathrooms too nice. I'll put one there. You know what? We never potty trained them anyway. So I'm going to delete that. Actually, I'm just going to move this. Move it here. Oh, no. The rocking chair is there. Maybe we can't move it there. What is in? Oh, that's a two tile door. Yeah, this room is not set up for this. Here. I think I can figure it out. Okay, I'm going to delete that because it's bothering me. There. Yeah, it'll fit too. Okay, that's fine. Here, I'm just going to make all of these the same color on this side and all of them the same color on the other side. Okay, that'll fit five babies and toddlers. Get rid of that. Oh, I like I like the lamp. I'm gonna put the lamp in here. The toy box. We can put them next to each other. Another potty, which we didn't use. Okay, that's pretty. Oh no, I have a bush like just clipping in. I just noticed that. Oh, that's so bad of me. There. Fix that. Okay, so this is now another kid's room. There we go. Here, we can do it like this. We can take, we can, we can give them like a homework desk, which one of them can do homework at, at a time. I'm going to steal the wood. From the bed frame, though. I'm getting sidetracked. From SC Johnson of all companies. My God. At the hotel I'm at has a brochure for mosquito-borne illnesses. <laughs> SC Johnson. A family company. What does that mean? A big billionaire family company. Like, what do you want me to say? You don't mind my sidetrackness. Well, that's good. Because we're on a we're on a renovation challenge now. But it's the Sims 3, so I have limitless creativity. I'm gonna do a metal. Because of course, the most important thing in the world is changing these little gold knobs to silver, right? Because that's because that's what my time should be spent doing. <laughs> okay. Now I'm just going to take this and copy it onto here. Why do these have to be different? Ooh, I kind of like the metal back of the chair. That's kind of nice. I'm going to make metal for the legs too. I'm not going to put a computer on it. Okay. Amber Lynn, I'm going to save. Wreck the Builder, can he fix it? I was, I'm, I'm too old for Bob, for Bob the Builder. I was already at the age when people start bullying you when that show was out. Okay, now I just have to delete that crib. Amber Lynn. Here, pick up the baby. Perfect. Eh. I wonder how many babies we're gonna have. We're gonna have to get that wheel out. I'm scared. Kyle what? He wants into the Amazon boxes. Stop screaming. Come on. Why not? Uh -oh. 
Yay, surprise kitty. Yes. Make sure you like the stream or Kyle will die. You wouldn't want Kyle to die, would you? People manipulate their audience like it's nothing. <laughs> Poor piggy. Oh, he's so big. He's like squishing me. You're squishing me. I should never have fed you all that food. He just ate, so he's as full as he's going to be. Look at these kids. One of the red ones, Balder, and like one of the other ones. Foosball. Where's fried rice? Playing with toys. Like, he's blonde, too? Oh, my. This is literally what I look like in Vegas. My hair gets blonder, and my skin gets redder. <laughs> Right when you picked up Kyle, my cat came up to me and started giving me kisses. Oh, that's nice. Are you still in the yellow? Okay, you're just tired. Cemetery is getting hungry, but that's okay because we have a billion cakes to eat. Amber Lynn is playing with a toy. They love this rocking chair. I'm gonna go mourn our mother. Maybe it'll help her come, come visit us. We haven't seen Har Harley for a hot minute. That's my husband after three minutes in the sun, honestly. Yeah, and like sunburns are not because I've been outside carelessly in the sun all day. Sunburns to me happen because I accidentally went outside. <laughs> How did you choose your YouTube name? It's my last name. It's just the way people always pronounced it. So I thought instead of forcing a bunch of people to say something else, I'll just call myself what everyone has always called me. I just spiced it up and made it more international. Okay, you can wake up soon. Uh, Amber Lynn is in the rocking chair, that's fine. Leprosy is just a little lonely, so what? So why don't you hang out with Leprosy? My brother, y'all, y'all need to move to Ireland. Oh, here's a funny story. Okay, well, it's not, it's not really a funny story, uh, because I haven't done it yet, but it's kind of in my back pocket. If I want to get someone canceled, I just go to their live stream and I say, you know, like underwear, like knickers. Can you say, I don't like knickers, but in an Irish accent, they will be canceled by, oh yeah, and I hit screen record. My nick is in a twist. <laughs> I was wondering because I'm a Polish American and and I've, uh, and I've never seen CSKI. Yeah, so my last name is Polish and I just tweaked it a bit because that's how people, you know, like that's how, um, like people have always pronounced my last name because if it's just spelled the Polish way, people don't have a clue. So. Y'all, today I found out the CDC declared the US to have a syphilis epidemic. It's given Satch on. Look at Bills. You have thicker skin than I wreck. I used to hate it when people mispronounced my name. I'm getting better with I'm getting better with age. So here's the thing about like I have I have learned to not internalize things that are outside my control. Like 
I like I've said this in a previous stream what other people do if it upsets you you're gonna have an unhappy life because you cannot make people do anything people are gonna do what they want to do so it's up to you like how you want to deal with it and kind of and kind of respond to it so I'm like you know what I don't need you to pronounce my name for me to know my name or whatever it is and like you know like it's who cares how someone pronounces my name? Does not affect me in any way, shape, or form whatsoever. Don't care. Can you say something in Polish? I will not. <laughs> not really. It's hard enough speaking French here. I can't, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not good with languages. It's hard enough for me to speak my first language, English, I like speech is something I've struggled with for a long time. Not volume. I've got volume down pat. But I do have to very consciously focus to speak properly. And in other languages, it's embarrassing. So. Okay, you're going to have a vanilla muffin as leftover because some because one of the kids made made uh made a muffin should we get the bake sale table oh i guess it's sunday they have to go to school tomorrow <laughs> hi sims 3 stan honestly <laughs> my name is ariana and to this day people cannot pronounce it okay see like or is it like ariana is that is that how people say it but like after Ariana Grande, like that would be people's default, you would think. I like how the cake, sorry, the um the the muffin is is on like a paper plate. It's a nice little detail. My last name is Bieber, and everyone says Bieber. I wouldn't say Bieber. Yeah, that's 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 kind of the thing too. Like if you have a name in one language it could be a different word in a different language and then suddenly your name is literally poop or something right <laughs> people have called me tawala i say it twyla because i've only known First of all, I think it was, I think it's a Greek name, if I'm not mistaken. And usually what I've noticed is that Greek things are pronounced very strong at the beginning of the word and it tapers off. So like Twyla, right? So like, that's just how I would say it. Like if you're saying like the place, like it's not Corinth, it's Corinth, right? Twyla. Like, it's just, it's heavier at the start. Remember when I said I I have to consciously focus on how to talk? So that's how I know all these little things. Like, I have to consciously think, like, how am I going to say that word? So when I get Sims overwhelmed, sometimes I stutter over my words. And ironically, it's never made me, like, insecure. Like, I don't feel bad about it. I'm like, you know what? If you can't understand what I'm saying, that's fine. But I like to make it easier for people without stressing myself out. Hey, you can eat some cake. It's time to eat. You're eating for five. Let's go. I have a feeling it's quads. I also live in the Midwest where nobody says anything right anyway. Oh my God, the poor Midwest. Passion. <laughs> it's passion. Passion. Chicago. <laughs> I hope she has quads. Please quads, people are hoping that. Greetings from Bulgaria, north north from Greece. Yes, Bulgaria. I have not been to Bulgaria, but I'm familiar. I know most of the European map. 
I'd say. Like, for a North American, I'm pretty good with world geography, but it's certainly not, like, a specific interest or anything. I love how they're all lining up to try and take care of the baby, but Cemetery is right here, front and center, doing it autonomously, as usual. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lock the nursery for everyone but Cemetery and Amberlynn, I think. Once I get everyone out of here. Okay, everyone has to go to bed. It's like one in the morning. Misfortune, go to bed. I'm not even worrying about who's, whose bed is who anymore. You go to sleep. Chantal, go to sleep. Bills, go to sleep. Sorrow, go to sleep. Why do they not go to sleep on their own? Oh, why? Amber Lynn's not supposed to sleep there. Eat the cake. Rugrat, what are you doing? Go to sleep. Oh, is this one locked still? That's what I did. I didn't I didn't unlock this. I didn't unlock this one. Okay, sleep. You're sleeping. You need to go to sleep. Go to sleep. You have your own bed. It's here. Okay, I think I've got it under control. How do I record a YouTube video? I want to be a YouTuber one day. I always recommend the first thing you need to do is get a thick skin. Because, like, I'm not particularly nice. I'm not particularly, like, digestible, right? So, but, like... For some reason, people who are like perfectly nice, perfectly pleasant, uh, haven't done a wrong thing to anybody. Like I said, like this is not about me. This is about other people. You know, people who like are good people and they will get horrible, horrible personal attack comments. Like people trying to destroy their soul. And I don't know why that is, but it does happen. So you just need to make sure that you can, and like, that's that's not everything you see like the most of my like most things i receive are overwhelmingly positive and i get way more positive feelings out of being a youtuber than negative feelings however that's because i don't care what people say or think about me like for the most part but if it bothers you like if someone were to just point out an ugly feature on your face and say like it's gross and they can't and they can't watch you. And if that hurts you, I would not recommend it. Ah, it's just something that should be said. Cause like I see people who have been on YouTube for years and years and years and years, like 10 plus years, and they get like a horrible comment like that. And it like, it breaks their spirits. And like, for me, like it just makes me want to do better. Because if they're because like if you're talking about how ugly I am, then clearly you couldn't find a problem with the video. Okay, Amber Lynn, what is this? Look at her try to wash the dish in the kitchen sink. Okay, do we have bed? Everyone in beds? Bam, 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 bam. Okay, sorrow. My goodness, go to bed. Oh, wow. Some of them actually slept all night. Uh, you're not going... No, you're going to go on this. And in fact... Why is this still open? Okay. So we're going to lock for everyone... Oh my god, why is there so many? Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna click on Amberlynn. Lock for everyone but myself. Lock for everyone but myself. Now I'm gonna go into... Specify Sims. Because I want to let Cemetery in. Look at all these people! Cemetery. And all the babies are in here. Wait, there's only two babies. It's twins. I think we're going to give birth in the morning. 
I'm losing my mind just trying to watch you control all these Sims. Props to you. Thank you. I'm just, I'm just used to it. Like I've always played with lots of Sims. Like ever since The Sims 2, like The Sims 1, I liked playing three Sims. Two parents, one child. That's the goth family. That's like my background. So that's just what I'm familiar with. But like once The Sims 2 came out, I'm like, well, let's have a baby. Let's have another baby. Let's have twins. <gasps> you can force twins by eating cheesecake. Let's have a bunch of babies. And I do that in like every household. And like I used to start with Brandy Broke. So it'd be Brandy, Dustin, Bo, and then she would give birth, right? So like that was just like all my Sims ended up just giving birth a lot. I first subscribed to you when you made a video judging Sunset Valley. Those were the date. That was like my fourth Sims 3 video, I think. Cheesecake does what now? So if you have, I think it's in the first trimester. I just have them binge eat cheesecake for their whole pregnancy. But if you have them eat cheesecake early on in their pregnancy, they will always have twins. Always. At least I think it's always. It... It might be just increases the chance, but I've never had it fail. So that's like, that's why I say it always works. I love cheesecake, but wouldn't eat it if it did that I IRL. Just make sure you're not pregnant. It only affects a pregnant sim. And only at a specific point in the pregnancy. I forget which. I think it's the first part. I think it's like the first day of pregnancy before their second or like before their baby bump. Okay, there's laundry everywhere again. We're gonna have to call the maid. I don't think we hired a scheduled service. I'm gonna save. Twyla says, I did not know that about cheesecake. Eat watermelon for girls wreck. Oh, I forgot about that too. I mean, you get two babies, but only one pregnancy. Yeah, like if, if your goal for that family is to have lots of kids, I recommend just having twins and stuff right away. Okay, Amber Lynn is sitting down while her babies are hungry. And it's their birthday. We're gonna have toddlers and, and give birth. Okay. Give bottle. Give bottle. Then give birth. Not allowed to eat watermelon in the 100 baby challenge. Thank you, Tatum, for letting me know. We have to get a girl soon. It's Leprosy's birthday. The Sims 3 Leprosy challenge. I didn't know that. <laughs> Girl named Soap. Okay, we're, we'll have to get the names on the wheel. So make sure, yeah. So make sure you start thinking about the names. Don't put them all in yet because I won't be able to, to go back and see them. She's eagerly expecting. Eager, like what's the rush? You still have babies. Okay, we need three more cakes, but I'm gonna do it once everyone goes to school. Oh, the dishwasher's broken. That's what happened. Okay. Whatever. Okay, well, some of them didn't sleep very well. Not really my problem. Okay, Amberlynn, repair the dishwasher. And then repair the sink. And then take a bath and then give birth. Okay, school bus, everybody go. Okay, you're going to school, you're going to school, you're going to school, you're going to school despite being so hungry, you're going to school, put the baby down, thank you, you're going to school, stop eating the cake, okay, you can eat a little bit because you're so hungry, oh, never mind, I cancelled it, okay, Rugrat, go to school, the kids can go to school hungry, they didn't wake up in time for their cake, CJ's gonna take my advice, He's gonna crumble under the pressure.
You know how streaming is. If you do one stream, then you can become famous. <laughs> and if you can, it's actually for the wrong reasons. <laughs> God, so many hungry people. Okay, I'm gonna get out the cakes. There we go. Perfect. Now, my biggest fear is that Amber Lynn is going to go into labor in between the birthdays. That's my biggest fear at this current moment. <laughs> Leprosy challenge. <laughs> I can't get over that. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna let her bathe herself. So we don't always allow that. Maybe cemetery. Yeah, so that so then cemetery is taking over the bath. So we're gonna have Amberlyn. Hopefully she can go to the shower here. Can she fit in the shower? Like, how does this door work? Let's see. Because I don't know if it affects with the washing machines. Go here. Oh no, I made this bathroom private. Waddle your way over. Let's go. She's doing that pregnancy walk. They're out there eating deep fried toothpicks, so I wouldn't put it past them. Oh no. I love your judging and rating Sims 3 build videos. I watch them all. Thank you so much. I just started complaining about EA because like I wanted to complain about EA, but I didn't want to just make my channel like I hate the Sims 4 and what they're doing because like I do and it's no secret so I'm like okay I already said that and I thought you know what building is kind of my favorite thing to do in the games overall and I think I have a good eye for this stuff so I thought I bet I can make this fun and I thought I'll just try it and then I don't think the first couple ones are fun <laughs> but like I, I got better at it there's a bad joke here or there, but there's a few good jokes in there too. We are not talking to you. I think we already slept with you. Okay, cemetery. I'm sorry, but there'll be no gaming today. We're gonna have Morg's birthday, then leprosies. Oh, Amber Lynn's bringing him. Okay, why don't, why don't I see if I can get both at the same time? Leprosy. Yes. Look how she's carrying. Look at this. Oh God, here's a thumbnail if I ever saw one. Yeah. The Sims 300 baby challenge is so realistic. What about from this side? Oh God. I don't know which, which side is better, which side is worse. This side has more light. Beautiful. Cause like I could have her looking up at the Sims 3 logo, like in a thumbnail. Like I could just put the Sims 3 logo here and she's like, Looking up at the logo. I don't know. The facial pose of a of a Baroque religious painting. I love Baroque art. Love Baroque art. My goodness. So fabulous. I like anything old money. Anything old money. And I don't like anything new money. Okay, let's do it. Oh, 
Okay, let's see. How does Morg look? Oh. He looks pretty good. That's pretty... That's pretty average child, I'd say. But you never know. Well, I guess average toddler. As long as they don't like... As long as they don't look like they crawled out of the Sims resource, then I'm happy. Okay, here comes, here comes Leprosy. Happy birthday, Leprosy. Then we're gonna give birth, I hope. I can't wait. Let's go. Leprosy is now a toddler. Oh, good. You're not chatting with Ahmed. No, I'm good. Okay, actually, she needs to sleep until she goes into labor. Okay, we did both birthdays. Leprosy! Leprosy has the red hair! Well done, Leprosy. And Amberlynn's brown eyes. He has it all. Looks like baby RuPaul. That's funny. Except EA's version of old money. Yellow piss bathroom. Even the new, even the Altos have a yellow bathroom. So I think it's just rich bathrooms in general. To be fair, Baroque and, and, um, I think you meant the Rococo were lavish over the top. Yeah, like that's... That was why I liked them. I like any, yeah, like anything overstated, right? All teenagers are taking a field trip to the police department. Yeah, shoot them. Let's go. EA does not understand old, old money because they got it last week when the expansion pack came out. <laughs> EA don't understand old money, yet all their investors are old money. Oh, she's in labor. Let's go. Okay, go to the hospital. Let's go. Oh, no. It's going to be quads. I'm scared now. What's my favorite town in The Sims 3? I can give a top three. I don't know if I can give favorite. Okay. Oh, I can't. I can't. Okay, let's just think about what it's not. Twinbrook. <laughs> not not Twinbrook, not Barnacle Bay, not Sunlit Tides. I did enjoy Sunlit Tides more than I thought. Aurora Skies. I like the builds, but I don't like it as a world. Hidden Springs, I like it as a world, but I don't really like the builds. Roaring Heights can be in top three. Midnight Hollow can be in top three. And I want to say Lucky Palms. Baby name suggestions. Unwanted, unloved, ugly, failure. Oh, yes. Okay, we have to... I have to get out the wheel. I am so scared. Please, baby girl. I need a baby girl. Okay. Baby girl! Yay! Okay, we get to start. Okay. I'm going to add two names to the wheel because I always use these words to describe people complaining on the internet. Woe is me and pick me. Literally every, every simmer ever, especially me. I always like to complain. I always like to show up what I'm doing. Everyone look at me. So they both describe me and they both have the essence of the Sims. Okay. Wow. Okay, because we have to remember too that this could be our next generation, right? So let's see. Okay, ra rage quit. Oh no, I'm typing it into the name. I was, I should be typing it into the wheel. Why is this ad here? I 
I'm gonna do a hyphenated. Rage quit. Anne Boleyn, let's just do, okay. I'm spelling it like how you spelled it and I'm assuming it's correct. I'm actually not, not sure. Oh my God. Malaise, I like, I like that name too. I want to keep it like feminine name, girl name, woohoo. Oh my God, that'd be good. Cheese string. Oh, I like, I like cheese string. Amberlynn can name her after her favorite food. Okay, my like, my chat moved so now I have to find it. I'm gonna scroll up a little bit too. Oh, I like, I like, um, oh, where is it? I just, I just lost it. Fertility. Okay, we'll do a Natasha. Okay, let's just do, let's just do it here. Because at least, at least we have a baby girl. So, okay, let's spin the wheel for the baby girl. Three, two, one. Let's see. It's cheese string. <laughs> Great. Okay. Is cheese string one word or two? I'm gonna see what it looks like as one. No, I don't like it. I'm gonna do two. Cheese string. One, two, three. So she's virtuoso and loves the outdoors. She can play a guitar outside for money then. Baby boy. Okay, we have a second one. Let's see. We can nickname her Cheese. Has The Sims 4 been suggested? Okay, I'm gonna add Sims, Sims 4. So I'm gonna delete Cheese String. I'm gonna put the in it as well. Okay, and The Sims 4. Okay, three, two, oh, I guess we can, I'm gonna get out Natasha and Anne Boleyn, but I can add them back in if we get another girl. I'm gonna add in another name too. Neglect two, okay, we'll do that. Okay, three, two, one. Oh, I hit my, ow, that actually hurt me. Woe is me, oh, woe is me. Well done, woe is me. He's gonna be screaming the whole time. One, two, oh, grumpy and evil would have been good. Let's do that. I'm gonna go back. Grumpy and evil. Even though it was number two and I earned picking some of the traits, so that's good. And we know that he's not gonna be the matriarch. Oh, it's triplets at least. Oh no, another baby girl. Okay, I'm gonna take off Neglect. Anne Boleyn and Natasha. Okay, three, two, one. Pick me! Oh, yay! Both my names are up there. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Do we have quadruplets? I'm scared. Pick me can be a diva. Oh, she can't be a diva yet. One, two, three. Insane. I'm gonna get rid of Loves the Outdoors. Oh. I'm gonna click it again till it says insane. Is it ever gonna be insane? It's not happening. Come on. Athletic and evil. I'm never gonna see it again. What are the chances of this? Oh, insane and light sleeper. Okay, that's fine. Insane and light sleeper. Okay, it's only triplets. It's only triplets. We can do this. 
Oh God, we've got, look at all the call. We got our third column started. Oh God, it's triplets. But we have three babies and two toddlers. So we have just enough cribs. Perfect name for that little tyke. I'm putting fertility back in the ring. We can, like, we might have more daughters. We still have time. Look at her go. Move out of the way. Who's Billy Lai and why is he doing homework in my house? She, sorry. Her band tee had me fooled. What is the basket she's holding? It's the babies, what they come in. Oh yeah, the gifts, I forgot. I pulled a Cindy. I forgot about my 20 presents. Okay, what are you all doing? Please just, I got giant door for a reason. Oh no, you don't. Get out, cause you're blocking the door. Okay, one second. Jasper. Ask to leave. You're in the way. Okay, let's see. Here come the triplets. Where is she putting them? I'm sorry, but somewhere along the way over the cake mountains, Amberlynn transformed into Jabba the Hutt. And she's also been like pregnant I, I just, I've never had a sim gain this much weight before. So I don't really know what to do. We, I think, I think we have a skinny elixir. The Ozempic challenge. Juliana says, what, what world are we playing in? Barnacle Bay, as you can see. What's wrong with you? Oh, you're tired. Go to bed then. Why? Why are you talking? Listen to bedtime story? Just go to bed. We could take her to the gym to meet somebody. She's so tired. Put the baby away and go to sleep. Put pick me in crib. Perfect. Woe is me, Jalopy. I love how woe is me is in the blue crib, but with the pink outfit. <laughs> We're missing a toddler somewhere. Okay, you're here. Jasper, my God, put leprosy in the playpen. That's our best chance. Yeah, he'll be fine in there. How are you able to get in here? I thought I locked it for everyone. How did you get in there? Now, now you're not gonna be able to get out. Okay, and then Amber Lynn is gonna age up. So let's just, let's just get her done. Look at her face. It's all glitched. Come on, Amberlynn, let's go. She's like, I'm hungry. Let's get this over with. This is post-pregnancy? Oh, the courtyard door. I forgot about the court. Okay, maybe that's, maybe it's good to have the one door because they won't want to go through the courtyard. I forgot about the courtyard door. She's so hungry, but she has to do her birthday. Amberlynn begs for rest. Yeah, she just gave birth. She's gonna pee herself, but she has to age up first. Okay, Amberlynn is now fully mature. Yeah, we'll see about that. Okay, she needs to go to the bathroom immediately. I need to save as... I cannot believe this game is still running. I've got 18 Sims on the lot, I think. 
They don't need friends with that many siblings, honestly. Dun, 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 Okay, Amberlynn is trying to eat cake, but that's not gonna happen. Instead, we're gonna go to the bathroom immediately. Where is she? Oh, she's stuck. Because everyone goes into this corner. Okay, so next house, remind me that we don't want a boxed-in kitchen. We want a long wall kitchen. Amberlynn. Okay, testing cheats enabled true. Teleport me here. Go to the bathroom. Look how she's sitting. I'm just gonna leave it like this for a little bit. How big is my mods folder? I, uh, I'm not sure. I can find out right now, actually. If my game crashes, sorry. <laughs> Properties. 743 megabytes. I don't even have a gigabyte. I don't use a lot of mods or CC. Yeah, that'll get a lot of clicks because people will have to click on it to, just to see whatever the hell it is. What's that? I feel like we should get pregnant again. I also feel like we should go to the gym. So why don't we do both? The way she like holds out her arm. Let's do it. Why are you so tired? Okay, go to sleep. Amberlynn, go to bed. Okay, she, she can go to bed and then tomorrow we can get things done. Okay, Morg is tired. Sorry, Morg, Morg is hungry. And I think Cemetery is going to feed Morg in the high chair. Oh my God, Chantal's doing it first. How is Leprosy doing? Here, you can potty train Leprosy. Where did I put the toilet? There we go. Where is leprosy? Leprosy. Pick up leprosy. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to lock this courtyard door, I fear. Potty train leprosy. Oh no. You're gonna take a bath. Which one are you? I'm just, I'm just gonna right click on you. Foosball. You can shower in this one instead. Okay, this door has got to go. This door has got to go. I'm going to kick everyone else out but Chantal. Misfortune, go over there. Bills, go over there. Oh, God. Harley Jr., go over there. See, now it's too much because we have too many people who can help the babies. Bills, what are you doing? Go here. There. I'll fix it. Haha, uh -huh, they can't get there now. Perfect. You can tell where the door was. I'm gonna let Chantal be in here. Here. What does the family tree look like now? Oh dear. <laughs> okay, well, we have we have entered slider territory. This this is gonna be a pain to make as an image. Okay, 
Okay, good. She can like, feed all the babies. Oh no, Monica Lai is it? Why is she here? Oh God. Do I like her? I don't want to delete her. Here. I'm going to put this door back. Lock for everybody. Then I'm going to go into specify Sims. And I'm going to let Monica let herself out when I ask her to leave. Bye. Oh no, Chantal's in love with her. Okay, we have to open the gifts. I keep forgetting. I'm going to save. Okay, why don't we go do that now? Let's go open, open our presents. I see there are more kids. Okay. If you right click, it changes them to active. Yes, that works in every Sims game. And spacebar will just bounce to the next sim on the list. Here, maybe it looks better like this. So spacebar, and then oh no, I need to I need to know who this is. Click on leprosy. Go here. Move it. Move it, toots. Why are you frozen like that? Go. There. Why am I suddenly craving cake? It's because you're hungry. And we keep talking about cake. Okay, Amber Lynn. Oh no, she's asleep. Okay, cemetery. You're not doing bedtime stories. You're gonna open gifts. Okay, Chantal, what's wrong with you? You're exhausted. You can sleep there. Woe is me is hungry. So we're going to have Amberlynn wake up and feed her. You can play with her too, actually. Then you can go back to sleep. Okay, thank you, John. We got another chess table. There we go. Alex, thank you for the laptop. We need another computer soon, I think. I was thinking of putting it into the other bedroom. We'll see if they if they get their homework done. Then if that's the case, then we'll put it in. Ariana. The flask of angry bees. Oh, we gotta throw we should throw that at the X's, like after we're done with them. That'd be a good idea. Lean and mean. Oh, we can we can lose weight. Thank you for the Ozempic. Okay, I'm gonna skip past here so I can give a gift to somebody else. K-pop lovers here again. The brain enhancing machine. That is something every simmer could use. Melted Princess is happy St. Patrick's Day. Thank you to you as well. In fact, yesterday was St. Patrick's Day, but to but today is St. Patrick's Day in Newfoundland. Fun fact. Whiteboard. Oh, I can't send a gift, but thank you. Oh, good. The flask of sleep. We can have her drink that actually right now. The fire pit. The bowling alley. Who is these from? Oh, it's Twyla. Twyla Renee. Exercise queen. Yeah, I don't know if that's going to be Amber Lynn. Another bed. Thank you, Alicia. Oh, good. Another shower. I might just stick that in the in the bathroom that has room for it. We got a bar. Maybe we'll put the bar down. Thank you for the rubber ducky. In the vial of bliss. Okay, perfect. And I'll open up these last, these last couple. More bubble bath. We always get some like bath things. Oh, the fairy elixir. I don't know if I want to do that to the matriarch, but we could do it to somebody. Another chess table. The melancholy serum. Oh no. 
Oh, and the little plant I like. Okay, now let's save again. We only got 200. Usually we get like a lot more cold hard cash. Maybe it's not that type of Christmas. Use the fairy elixir on cemetery. <gasps> yes. Yes, let's do that. Let's actually do that. That's a wonderful idea. I love that. Oh my God, fairy cemetery, yes. And then she'll never, oh yes, oh yes. Okay, give me a second. Inventory. Bloop. This can go wider. There we go. Look at this inventory. Where is it? It's pink, right? Okay, so now it's in Cemetery's inventory. Look at all these. Th we have so much crap. Greeting cards, right? Because we went to festivals and stuff. I got to put these groceries away still. I'm surprised she doesn't just eat these out of her inventory. Please just highlight the fridge. Thank you. Speaking of cake, tomorrow is my birthday. Well, well, happy birthday, Tatum. I hope you have a great birthday and you have lots of things planned. Or if you don't have things planned, sometimes that's even better. <laughs> happy almost birthday. Look at everybody go. You can use the invigorating elixir to not be sleepy. Why don't we do that right away? Jar of discord. Oh no. Procreation elixir. The chance of um is is increased for twins and triplets. We'll drink this for the next actually what we should save this for the next generation because Amberlynn always has at least twins. So we can give that for our first pregnancy of the next generation. Where is it? Now I can Okay, there it is. Drink elixir. Here. Do it first. Perfect. Give bottle. I think all the babies will have to eat soon. Oh no, these two are fine. It's just, it's just, just woe is me. Just woe is me screaming as usual. Okay, Chantal's asleep. Balder is not asleep for no reason. Go to bed. We got this. Now the Ozempic. Oh, we should. I don't know. I kind of. I don't like her being glitch big. But I mean, like, if you had like 14 kids in six pregnancies, you'd probably gain some weight too. How many kids do we have? So this is six, 16 children. Amberlynn has 16 children. I don't know what she's doing. She wants to move to a new house because she's having a midlife crisis. I like her big, not, not all have to be skinny. Like, the thing about The Sims 3 is that I really like embracing what what we get, you know, because sometimes you get a really ugly one, at kind of like Cemetery, but then she grows into this beautiful swan that even as an older woman, she has a regalness, she has a dignity in class, and like, I would never be able to make a face like that in The Sims 3. But through the magic of nature, we got that. And it's like the same thing with Amber Lynn. In fact, Amber Lynn has a stunning face when it's not glitched out like this. But it's just like, that's that's how she, look at this kid's leg. Look at these legs, they have to be so stretched out. Oh my God, this is a mood in a moment. How's this look? 
Welcome to the 100 Baby Challenge starring Amberlynn. <laughs> oh no. And it's funny because out of context, someone's going to pop in and be like, did you make, did you make her look like that to look like Amberlynn Re- No, like I didn't do anything. Like I put her in like a new outfit. That's it. I think I changed her hairstyle. She just ended up like this. And our first gen didn't, so I don't know what's up with that. Maybe Cemetery needs an invigorating elixir too. She's had what, like 16 kids? She's had exactly 16 children. And like for me, her face is the biggest problem like with like the glitchiness. Like I really don't care, but it's like, I would like there to not be polygons coming out of her chin, right? All oh, these babies are in the yellow. This one's lonely. What's this one doing? This one, okay, we're gonna wait until this one pees itself. Okay, this one's tired. This one's tired too. Oh, this one already peed itself. Yeah, there we go. Woe is me. And yet the glitchy face is such Sims 3. Absolutely. This is really mean, but she looks like my English teacher whose class I hated. Everyone has an English teacher that, that, that they hate. I think it was my grade 11 English teacher. So I used to work like full time in high school. So I used to work at Tim Hortons and I used to do the drive through either after work from three to 11 or I'd work the overnights from 11 till seven in the morning. And my school started at like 7.30, like stupid early or something. So a couple times, my grade 11 English teacher went through the drive through in the morning and got her coffee from me and then like, told everyone about it at school and I was like you didn't have to tell everyone my business but fine I'll just make fun of you for the rest of my life and she's ugly so like it's so funny she's gross I can't even remember her name I always like to see the downfall of my enemies but I also like to forget about them too so either way All fine with me. Put the put cheese string in the crib. So as of now, woe is me is the youngest daughter because she was born last. So I think she's gonna be the heir unless unless we have some other kids. Joke's on her, she's getting to deal with all the problems of teaching. Yeah. And I remember she did one stupid test question. So we had to read The Great Gatsby and she's like, and the first question on the test was like, who wrote The Great Gatsby? And on the book, inside the book, on the back of the book, it says F. Scott Fitzgerald. F. Scott Fitzgerald, like that's, and authors generally shorten their name or change their names, like their pen name for the book or whatever. She marked everyone wrong and she's like, it's actually Francis Scott Fitzgerald. And I'm like, well, you're actually a bitch. Like, fuck you. <laughs> like if, if what makes you feel better about yourself is ruining the lives of 16 year olds, I wish you a Lego in your foot. Two, and the really small ones. Based on the looks of her, they're gonna go right up to her shin. I despise my old, old art teacher. She told me to stop trying to get better at, at art. Oh my God, that's terrible. Yeah. 
She's a pick me girl. Pick me, pick me. I know the pick me girl is like associated with like specifically a female, obviously, but it's like a girl who like wants to date the guys she's friends with, but they're just friends or something. That's kind of like the meme that I've seen. When I say pick me and I think of pick me, I think of people like me on the internet doing anything they can to get attention drawn to them. So like when you go on Twitter, it's like, pick me, pick me, pick me, pick me, pick me. <laughs> so that's what I think of when I think of pick me. And I hate that it's rooted in misogyny, but so is our entire empire, so. We're slowly dismantling the patriarchy one generation at a time, don't worry. Why are you still in here? Oh, I gave you permission. It's Rugrat's birthday and it's Soro's birthday. That's only two birthdays at least. Oh, they're gonna be teenagers. Teenagers, oh no. My art teacher was fantastic. Like I had the same art teacher in high school. So in high school, my 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 art teacher was amazing my dance teacher was amazing like they basically just told me to go like live my dreams or whatever and that's kind of what i've always done and then all the math teachers were like pulling out their hair because they're like, you need to go be a mathematician. You're a genius. And I'm like, I'm going to go to drama school. <laughs> and then I did a math degree anyway, but I did it because I wanted to, not because people told me to do Like I Like, I just do what I want. So it's like, if what you want me to do, ha like happens to coincide with what I want to do, then that's going to be great for you. But for me, I don't care. I started in the fine arts and then I switched to math because I knew it was the right choice for me. And now here I am trying to be a YouTuber. I'm just faking, faking it till I make it. Oh my God, Chantal, is cake really more important than going to school? Are you going to school? You're going to school. You're going to school. You're going to school. You're going to school. Okay, no, 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 no. Okay, good. Okay, Rugrat, I don't care if it's your birthday. Go to school. Oh, she's so dirty. Ew. She's gross. Do not do the dish. Great. Oh, I thought I th I thought the school bus left. That's pretty good. Like 840 and they're all in there. That's going pretty good. Look at me go. I'm winning the um the, the 100 baby challenge. If if there is a way to win it. I went to Catholic school and none actually hit me. I went to Catholic school too. And when we were 13, okay, here's a fun story. So they sent us all to this monastery. Like, I'm not kidding. Like they sent about 30 of us to a monastery for a weekend. And like people had intercourse, <laughs> let's just say that. And um, yeah, so we were a bunch of grade eights in Catholic school stuffed into a nunnery. Get thee to a nunnery. So, and there was, it was, it was something. It was something. Oh, and the girl who got pregnant, um, didn't keep it. Of course not. Um, her family owns a pizza place in my hometown with like the same name. So it's like every time I see that, I just think of the monastery. <laughs> was it Loretta something? I don't know. And it was like 200 years old. Like it had metal spiral staircases. It was scary. The showers were like Victorian era, like weird metal tubes. Oh my God. That's like a repressed memory of mine. I love how everyone's in the green, except for leprosy. And he's right here. 
I'm gonna save it again. Christian education trauma. <laughs> Yeah, and like my school had uniforms we had to wear and stuff. Yeah. Ouch. That nunnery has, has seen things, I'm sure. If Stonework could speak. If Stonework could speak, then anything that EA made in these games would be screaming. What is she doing? Check out Wrinkles. Oh no, she's having her midlife crisis. I don't think it's Wrinkles we have to worry about. I think it's that chin. Okay, go to the bathroom. I'm surprised like how well the game hold holds up with these crazy sliders. Like, there's a few awkward moments, but overall, she's doing pretty good. I can't believe everyone's in the green. I can't believe it. What time is it? Oh, it's 7.45. Good. Okay, I just want to keep everyone in the green. Because I want to end on a good note. I'm going to save again. I have to go to sleep. Thank you all for your wonderful time. Stay fabulous. Thank you, Rakowski, for a wonderful stream. Well, I hope you have a lovely night, and I hope you enjoyed my sassiness for the evening. Go watch something calming. I always say, you want to go to sleep? James Turner LP from this year. 54 minute sleeping pill. Zzz. Knock you right out. What are we doing? What's going on over here? Oh, they're going to the field trip. I saw the police logo and I thought they got arrested. I thought, oh my God, like you're about to age up and move out. Where is she going? She's sure running. Oh, the high chair. I forget about them in the high chairs. I forgot. I don't even know if he was in there. Those uniforms were so itchy, but as an adult, I appreciate only having a few outfits to choose from. Wreck, did you have those fully alive Catholic sex ed test books? Yes, I did! Fully alive! I forgot about that! Oh no! Ew! Oh my god. Nobody ever, ever look up what that is. Ever. To this day, it's the only vulva I've seen. <laughs> Let's just say that. All the schools here in South Africa have uniforms. And yes, I didn't like them as a kid, but as an adult, I have an appreciation. Totally. Okay, she's feeding the other one. That's good. And he's tired, so he can go to sleep after this. Look at this. They're all in the green. I'm, I'm so pleased with myself. Like, look at me. What are you doing? Oh, she's playing the donut blaster game. She should be learning a skill that she'll never use. Okay, you're getting hungry. Jasper, only adults can use that. Oh god, what's going on? Oh, he's at the he's at the police station. I forgot. Let's see. How's everything going over here? No one got shot? That's too bad. Our biology and sex ed do not do not play ma mainly because we implement it in combat aids is childhood. Oh, yeah. I remember because like AIDS, because AIDS is like late 80s, early 90s crisis. I started learning from those books in 98. Like everything was like anti-drug, anti-sex. And like, I think though, like, I think sex and drugs overall are going to destroy your life and spirit. You know what I mean? But it's like, you can't just force a generation of kids and teens to just not do stupid things. You need to give people the tools to make better decisions and to bounce back from bad decisions. 
Like we thought all sorts of weird things. Like we thought condoms gave you AIDS. Um, gay sex just didn't exist at all. Was not a thing. Um, the worst STD of all was pregnancy though. You didn't, because if you got pregnant, then it means that your family was shamed. I didn't hear about HIV or STDs except except on TV. Uh, no, in my school, they were like, here's a picture of herpes. <laughs> so that's kind of how we got it. We didn't learn too much about HIV or AIDS because only gays get that and they're evil and should die anyway. So whatever. I guess I'll just pretend to be straight for the rest of my life. Ew. It's like, how do I say this without getting canceled? I love women, but ew. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. I found out about gay people from The Sims free play. Honestly, honestly, I thought you could get pregnant from French kissing. You can, but only if you kiss a boy and you're a girl. That's the only way though. So I'm safe. I thought gay just meant that they were really happy. Wow, look at those childless men who are always happy and rich. They're gay. <laughs> the Sims stripper in The Sims 1. Oh God, I thought the police department was taking all the children due to my neglect. <laughs> this happened before. I was like, oh no, all children will, will, will be taking. Oh no, police department. Oh no. After school. Okay, fine. They can all go. You need to go to bed the second you get home. Gay in French means, means happy. It does. My mom told me the truth when I was 19. Oh no, that, that is certainly too, too late. Okay. Everyone's in the green except for fried rice who has to go to sleep immediately. So I think this is probably a good time to just wrap it up. I'm going to cheat him just a little bit. So that way he can get home. Okay. If. If I get home and everyone's still in the green, I'm going to save it. And that's where we're going to leave it. Okay, everyone's in the green. I'm saving. Saving as. Look at that. We have 16 children in this generation. Ugh. I think we had 13 in the first. So we're at 29. 29 babies. We are quadruplets away from third, from like one third done. Oh my God. Oh, Pietro's gotta go. You have a good night. We'll see you later. I have to go soon too, but not before we have an Amazon haul. Okay, I saved it. You know me, I'm gonna save twice for good measure. I'll be back shortly.
Okay, I'm here. I'm just gonna make sure that like my address isn't visible on the boxes. YouTube skill. <laughs> Don't dox yourself. Okay, how are we doing? So I have two Amazon boxes here and they're both the same thing. They're just in different colors. So we're gonna do a little bit of a influencer moment. At least the music is nice. Mike is off wreck, thank you. I was just explaining that I had to go to the bathroom. Okay, so I'm just gonna use these nail clippers to open the box because that's what I have within reach. So I got these, these controller, I'm trying to get it not, not reflecting the light. So it, it, it's the 8-bit do, I think that's how you pronounce it. It's basically just a wireless controller for a keyboard. Sorry, a keyboard, a computer. So my friend and I are gonna try and play Baldur's Gate on the weekend together. So I thought, I'll just get these. And I don't usually like buy things to make me happy, but this week I did. Oh, and I also bought a new TV, it's behind me. So I'm gonna turn that on too. My life as a Sims YouTuber. So you can see it there turning on. So we have that all figured out. Yeah, so new toys, I know, right? So that's kind of how I am with spending. Like I won't buy anything like for a few months and like, I'll just save money. But like, I won't put it in a savings account. I'll just keep it in the checking account. I'll just save money and then I'll be like, wow, I could buy something. And then I buy things and then that's it. So here's the second box and it's a green one so they only came in two colors and i would never buy lilac purple or not so berry gen one green of anything but i thought since these are only the two colors i may as well embrace it and just try something different and like the black ones were all like expensive and like had worse reviews and stuff so i didn't bother Did you see Cindy got glitter bombed? I did see that. I thought that was uncalled for and unnecessarily cruel. Like, I'm mean, like I get it, like, but like you don't like, cause the problem with glitter bombing is cause like I, I need cleanliness. Like it bothers me when things are not clean. So that would drive me crazy. And every time she goes into that room, she's gonna like see a small speck of glitter. She's never getting that out. It's gonna be in that room Till she moves out and she's gonna see it every week and be reminded of the fact that somebody sent her the glitter bomb or something so i if andrew sent it then fine right but like if any of them sent it like please get a job please get a job you were able to get yourself all ready to go to the post office to mail that out but you can't go get a job so it's like mm, i don't know there we go I'm bringing out my inner CJ, look at me. Okay, glitter can get in your eyes and cause infections. Let's not think about it. And nobody can send me a glitter bomb because I don't have a PO box. I don't want people to send me anything. Send me your well wishes. Send me a story of something like you built in my Discord. For example, if you go into my Discord, like you can share your builds, you can share your stories and stuff. Share that with me. Have if I've helped you enjoy the game more or something, those are the things that make me happy. Sending me Amazon crap is not gonna make me happy because I, like I said, I barely get anything from Amazon anyway. And if I wanted something, like I'm an adult, like w with a job, so I'll just make the money and buy it. So that's kind of the way I see it. So there we go. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the stream and I really hope you're enjoying the 100 baby challenge. We will be back at our regular time on Thursday and I will be doing another episode of the 100 baby challenge. And like I said, I think next week, hmm. So we'll probably play 100 baby on Tuesday, the same as next week, but maybe for Thursday's stream, we'll do the Sims one. It'll be like, because I'm off Friday, 
so so when I get home Thursday I'll be like done for the weekend we'll play some Sims 1 maybe we'll have a cocktail and then we'll just kind of let loose and just have a little bit of fun and just see what kind of crazy stuff happens because it's, it, it's probably been maybe two months since I've actually played the Sims 1 I was farting around in it earlier this this week just checking things out but to sit down and play it it's been a couple months so it'll be nice to get back into it but anyway like I said thank you so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed the stream don't forget to hit the like button on your way out and check to make sure you're subscribed so that way you don't miss the next one if you are in the discord I will see you soon if you'd like to join there is a link down below where you can join as well it has been my pleasure and I love each and every one of you thank you so much for spending tonight with me and we'll see you Thursday bye